Recruiter chewed me out. I like my job, but not my pay. I told this to my boss. He tried to get me a raise, but wasn't able to. So I told him I'm going to look at other jobs and he said he didn't blame me. Found a job. Interviewed well in last week. I got an offer for 15% higher pay. I gave my boss notice and he told me to wait so that he could talk to his boss. Three days later. They came back to match the pay. I figured the new job wasn't exactly my dream gig so I chose to stay with my current job at the new rate. When I told the recruiter that I'm declining their offer, she basically accused me of applying for jobs just so I could negotiate a pay raise at my current job and that it's unethical for me to apply when I'm not really going to take the job and that I wasted her time in the interviewers, etc. I was so unprepared for her reaction that I just kind of stayed silent until the call ended. My wife called that recruiter a crazy bitch. But I'm wondering if AITA here. This is fairly common. The recruiter is pissed because they missed on the commission. No. You are not the asshole. Your responsibility is to yourself first. The recruiter is pissed you cost her a commission. She acted unprofessionally. Sounds like she is not cut out for her job. You are not the asshole here. You have no ethical obligation to keep a job to pay someone else. She's out for herself and you should be out for yourself that's literally why we work. For the pay. Not to pay some bitchy recruiter. You good. When I told the recruiter that I'm declining their offer. She basically accused me of applying for jobs just so I could negotiate a pay raise at my current job. Well duh. She's just salty because she lost a commission. Jesus she's acting like she was a personal friend you betrayed. People accept counter offers all the time. Personally. I don't because they should pay me before I go through the hassle of finding another job. But. It's common enough that a recruiter shouldn't be surprised. Some people are greedy, self-centered, and rude. Her behavior was unprofessional, and I'd report it to her company. If she works for one. The recruiter was, understandably, upset that she lost a commission, but less than understandably lost her temper and behaved completely unprofessionally. On a side note it might have been a good idea to take the offer anyway. It's not unheard of for companies to match a competing offer to prevent you from leaving immediately. Only for them to start looking for ways to replace you at their convenience. You accepted a buyback. Fair. But 90% of the time. A company just matches pay until they can find someone cheaper to replace you with. If the company thought you were worth the 15% raise before you tried to quit. Well you woulda gotten it without trying to quit. Recruiters are just less classy pimps wanting a cut of your pay. Of course they act out. Ignore them. I actually would have taken the other job. Your current job is only paying you that because you were going to leave if they didn't. They clearly could have paid you more they didn't want to. This could hurt you in the future. Yes. You wasted her time. However. It's business. So you shouldn't care. She should have got you 25% and earned that commission. That's on her. Also. Not getting a raise. Then mysteriously getting a raise means your boss thinks you're a chump. They chose not to give it to you the first time. It was available. They just thought you wouldn't make a fuss. You will be in this exact situation again in 5 years. Underpaid compared to jumping ship. It's a classic tale. Lolololo I get giddy listening to butt hurt recruiters. Believe this. They will, would throw you over in a hot minute. Don't feel bad or like you're burning bridges. There's always another recruiter. Don't worry. The recruiter just wanted the commission. I'm sure they'll move on to the other candidate they ghosted. I don't think you're at fault. 
I've always considered the counteroffer when applying for jobs and have sometimes hoped for one. And others decided I'd still leave. Just think of all the time you wasted doing interviews doing the surveys and submitting the job. Applications, resumes online. Then feel better about yourself. It's part of the business. Not many people will accept the offer to stay so your wife is right. Recruiters get commission for new hires, so it's understandable why they would be frustrated. You shoulda used that opportunity to ask the recruiter for even more money. I would have told her. Exactly what you posted. This opportunity wasn't isn't exactly your dream gig. So all things considered. If they really wanted me to work there. They'd have to sweeten the pot as my current employer sees the value behind trying to retain me. Which is why they choose to give me a pay raise in order to retain me. NTA. As this sub shows, most employers will not pay you what you want until they lose you. What you did wasn't unethical. The recruiter failed to negotiate an attractive offer to you. That's the power of the free market. Baby. Recruiters get paid a part of. Or multiple times your monthly salary as a finder's fee. Of course. Any recruiter will be bitching because you've lost their time and money. You do you. And that's it. Yes. It's hard. For everyone. She will let you know her mind. However. Accept the counteroffer only in a few cases. They will probably make you pay for that raise in one way or another. If I decide to leave. I would not accept the counteroffer. No matter how much I like the work. This kind of thing comes up over and over again in this sub. You are a free agent. You owe no responsibility to a recruiter. To a job. To your boss. Or to your co-workers. Because they owe no responsibility to you. Your only job is to maximize your pay and life work balance. That's it. There are no teams and you aren't part of the family. It's just you against capitalism. And you can be sure that anyone signing your check is playing the game that way. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.